everyone. Welcome to this episode of Talking About Rock. I am your host, Rob Edwards. Well, today it was our great pleasure to announce our new show sponsor, School of Rock North Buffalo. This amazing organization will have a new location opening soon in Buffalo, New York. We know the impact music has made in all our lives, and we are so pleased to join with this organization to see them create the musicians of tomorrow who will keep the torch alive. Today's guest created a powerhouse band with a 70s soulful classic style. Here to talk about their new record, Into Loving You, we have Michael and Brad from Cranberry Soup. How's it going, guys? Good, man. So you finally got the release. The whole album is out here. So so tell us about what, in, what it went into making this. And uh... I'll let Mike handle that one right now. OK. Um, well, we, uh, we picked a, uh, we picked a, a pretty well-known studio in the Phoenix area called the Salt Mine, run by uh, Don Salter. And, uh, he put his, uh, number one engineer with us, uh, Damian McClare Jr. And, uh, the whole project, uh, took about, took about a year to get done. Um, we just did five tracks in EP. But uh, we got a little more involved than we had previously been uh, with our demos. So we added uh, we added a lot of keyboard parts, uh, some B3, some straight piano, uh, some synthesizers, things like that. Um, got a little bit more involved in uh, in the guitar tracking, and uh, you know, just time and schedules and everything. And me living, you know, in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> having to commute. Right. Right, because um, I think it's been about two months or so since I last talked to you guys when you were just talking about getting the rest of the songs together and getting ready for uh, to go back in. Yeah, yeah, we had a couple more parts to, to do um, and uh, the mastering process, you know, final mixes. So it, it, we were we were just putting the finishing touches on it. I think the last time we spoke with you. <laughs> right, right. And yeah, that sounds excellent. So um, who would you say was, was, was your influences behind maybe some of this, uh, some of these songs or someone that influences you in, in your playing styles? If you want to go ahead first, Michael, and then we'll go to Brad. Okay. Um, you know, sound wise, I, I think um, a lot of the, uh, the, a lot of what's going on with the Scandinavian rock bands today, uh, more modern bands, kind of like, uh, uh graveyard had a had a had a big influence on me sound wise um as as far as like the 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 sonic quality that i was looking for out of uh guitars bass and drums um also uh a lot of uh, like the, the first couple of early uh skinner records again as a tone reference more than anything else um you know things like that early zeppelin you know uh, again, kind of the the tone and dynamic that we were looking for. That that's what I went into it looking at. Gotcha, gotcha. And what about you, Brett? Um, I would say that everything that I listened to, starting from the time I was probably twelve um, up till now, kind of influences me. I can't hand pick like one band that or one singer that I um, would say is my major influence um, because simply for the fact that, I know there comes a point in time when you do this for a certain amount of time where it goes from trying to sound like someone when you first start doing this to just being yourself, but inflections of other people are gonna come through um, uh, when, you, when you sing. And I think it's the same thing with with Mike and with the the way we write our music. You can't help but sound like someone because there's so many good bands out there, and we've listened to so much music, and we still do. That um, I think it's um, also a lot of experiences in life kind of shape the way your music is sounding and the the lyrics and just different different components like that. Exactly. Yeah, I totally agree with you. You know, you go through your different phases in life, you know, when you first, you know, first find music or you first find that one band that really excites you. You know, for me it was a really young age. You know, I went to a Kiss concert when I was nine. So it was like yeah. the world exploded after that to me. 
you know what I mean? So I was all about them for a long time. And then there was just so much other stuff that was out um, for me in the 70s, you know, Boston and Styx mm -hmm. and uh, Chicago and Jethro Tull. I got, you know, Deep Purple, all that stuff. I got a taste of all that. And you're right, you do kind of, you know, I was I was getting in bands when I was younger and you do try to like sound like that at first for a while right but then you kind of realize that you need to make your own mark and have your own style to it, even though you might have those hints of those right. influences going along the way and. Um, and then and then you you know experience other things and you make your your music a little more whole you know I listen to a little blues a little bit of jazz. And, and and you get get other things and other influences you have to uh, kind of broaden your horizons a little bit uh for a while it was in the 80s for me it was a lot of a lot of metal obviously with all the metal bands that were coming out then it seemed like one after another all the time were mm -hmm. coming out um but other great stuff you know you you guys mentioned skinner you know another another amazing band that's just so iconic that's I, I, I think they're still touring and stuff i think they're still yeah, they uh, they're still uh, playing out and stuff like that um so so many uh you know different bands from uh from years past that are still touring and still making i just saw sticks i think last summer finally uh playing at one of the state fairs and they they were tremendous it was it was an amazing show you know yeah. you know yeah. do you guys get to catch any shows out there or any live music are usually too busy or um, I just saw Saliva because <laughs> we played before them, and okay. they were really good. Actually, good band. First time I'd seen Saliva, they were a good band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They still They're sounded pretty good. I haven't heard much from them since back in the day. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that was a fun show. Cool, cool. Um, actually, about... I just, um, Mark Ford from the Black Crows uh, just produced this guy named Red Shahan. And uh, I got to catch him about a month ago. It was a really good show. Really uh, good, good local artists coming out of Texas right now. That was uh, that that was good. And then the saliva show was really good, you know. Um, but yeah, we we've been so jammed on trying to get this record done. Yeah, and, you know, always looking towards. Uh, so we did the video. I think in between the last time we spoke to you and and now. Right. Um, <laughs> wrangling everything for that and finishing the record up and getting ready you know for the shows that we had coming up but we we had a i don't know if you heard but our our bass player uh darwin was involved in a hit and run accident on his motorcycle oh my so gosh he's been you know pretty much laid up and crippled from the accident uh since may about may oh, 20th wow. you know so we, we kind of been navigating a lot of things yeah. you know with all of the stuff that's been going on since we last spoke. So kind of like a little bit of holding pattern to see you when he's on the mend and stuff and then try yeah. to move forward and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Well, we wish him well. We hope uh, we hope that works out for him. Um, so tell us about we're going to play it here. Tell us about the title track, Into Loving You. That's you, Brad. Um, I would say um, this is the grooviest tune off the record. Um, we, we actually, this is actually one we recorded before uh, as a demo. Um, but now we re-recorded it. We felt like this is one that we needed to do full, just full production and make it sound like we really wanted it to sound. And it came out exactly how we wanted it to sound. And, uh, it was the song that we thought was going to be the, you know, you, you hear all your songs that you put on the record, you're all, which one should we do the video for first, right? So right. this is the one we all kind of came in agreement and thought, you know, this one would be, be a good impactful one. We think it gives a good representation of what we sound like and what we're about. And uh, so we did the video and that was a pretty cool experience. That's a, um, you know, if you've never, if you have never done a, a full production video, it's interesting how, how the whole process goes, goes about, but really cool video if you haven't seen it it's um it's got some cool cars in it and uh it's got some really cool music <laughs> you can't beat that it's even yeah, got yeah a really i definitely think game. it's a standout track for sure and uh yeah. it's definitely great and we're going to take a quick pause here we're going to actually play the video for that for into loving you from yeah. cranberry suit and we'll be right back here with brad and michael on talking about rocks
Okay, we're back here on Talking About Rock with Brad and Michael from Cranberry Suit. Just checked out the uh, track for Into Loving You. Uh, def definitely a standout track. You know, I really like it, the cars you guys incorporated in that and stuff. Um, that had to be a lot of fun uh, shooting that. Definitely, I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was a long day. The video, I know the video process is is kind of strange because it's like it's all bits and pieces. It's not yeah. like you're playing a whole song, right? It's like right. cut this. Let's try that. Let's and there, and it's like it's like a fluid thing, right? You're you're making yes. changes as you think of things and like oh let's try that and then you sometimes got to back up. Um, I know because our, our friends of ours out in uh, Nashville they. Uh, they have a video production place and so uh, they tell us a little bit about it and somehow you know how they got to chop up and different ideas will come up and mm -hmm. things like that and it can be it can be quite a long day uh doing that um but are we going to see some some other videos because I, I think it's great that you know bands are doing this this again now when we're, there's no mtv now you guys we just release videos for tracks right so to youtube right. but, but um are you guys going to do another one you think oh yeah. yes <laughs> yeah, a couple of different ideas. We're looking at um, we want we want to get a uh, we want to do a live uh, performance video, um, and uh, then a couple other tracks off of this EP. We're probably going to do videos for as well. Um, I don't know, a couple ideas like Broken's probably going to be one, um, and uh, my kind of free kind of mm -hmm. some ideas for that, you know. Excellent, excellent. I really look forward to that coming out. So I know you're saying your 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 bass player is going to be on the men there. So kind of upcoming shows are going to be on hold for a while. You're not really looking for any gigs, or or do you already have stuff maybe planned? I'm not sure. Um, actually, we, we do. Fourth, we're going to do a uh, fundraiser for him, and it'll be his first show back with us. Um, so we're you know doing a raffle, uh, giving away. Uh, giving away a guitar. Um, it's got some local artists from the Tucson area that has contributed some really cool things. Uh, some, you know, tattoo giveaways. One of the Harley dealerships has given us some swag, you know, hats and shirts and stuff like that. Oh, excellent. And yeah, it should, be, it should be a good time. It'll be a good show. Uh, got a couple bands from Tucson, another band from Phoenix uh, coming down to play with us. Uh, Color of Chaos is gonna play with us. Uh, Love Elixir, some friends of mine from Tucson, uh, another band, uh, ZFG, some good buddies are going to come out. So, you know, good night of rock and roll. Hopefully we can pack the place, get some donations and uh, help him recover from some of the uh, the financial problems, you know, that he's got building as the accident left him not able to work for pretty much like three and a half months, you know, just, just about four months. He had a wow. broken, broken ribs, he had a concussion. And it was hit and run. So the guy that hit him took off. So they've got legal bills to worry about trying to find the dude that hit him, you know, plus all the stuff. Crazy, crazy. Yeah. That, that's a great idea, though, having that benefit. That, that sounds amazing. Are you guys going to gonna, gonna uh, have any live footage that you're going to be doing from that at all? Or Yeah, there will probably be video from that. Um, it should, just for the, you know, the fact that it is it is a fundraiser you know almost more than it's a show you know we're really trying to push and, and get you know get a lot of get a lot of raffle money try and get people to you know just pitch in throw in a jar uh we got to go fund me going yeah there'll be video from that for sure yeah i think i saw that go fund me you guys got on the page for him yeah and saw that started out but i, I didn't know you're going to have an event I, I must have missed that on there but yeah that sounds like a great time you know you got a couple different bands coming out and where is it going to be again uh this bar called the edge bar in tucson arizona okay and what's the date uh september 24th it's a saturday september 24th so if you guys are in that area go and check that out that benefit that sounds amazing uh, great time um very very cool very cool yeah we hope uh we hope everything works out with that and then you guys are able to uh to move forward uh, and get some other dates and other things happening uh, we definitely look forward to the new videos coming out if folks want to know more about you should they check you out on your website or should they um, check you out on the streaming services or yeah they can check us out on everything yeah yeah go to cranberrysuit.com you can check us out at spotify uh the videos on youtube uh we're on facebook uh cranberry suit at instagram uh, cranberry suit band at instagram you can find us everywhere excellent great great 
So great talking with you guys tonight. Thanks for stopping in, um, chatting with about the new album, Into Love and You. We're good. Got that whole thing out there. Good stuff. I really, really enjoy it, man. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. If, you, if you people out there want to know more about us, you have comments or questions, please feel free to email us at talkingaboutrock at gmail.com. Please like us and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And as always, you can catch this interview and other interviews video on YouTube. And now you can catch the audio on all the streaming services as well. Guys, thank you so much, man. Good luck with everything in the future, man. And look forward to seeing some of that footage from the event. Right on. Yeah, thank you, man. All right, guys, have a good night. Thank you.